Hey, yeah, I spent 100 days in the Badlands only world, which means no grass, no trees, no wildlife or villagers, just dead lands. Basically Earth in 30 years. Anyways, I got this video idea from Luke the Notable, so please do check out his channel as well. If you like my content, you can help this channel out by subscribing. It's completely free and you can leave whenever you want. Anyways, let's go to the video. Okay, yeah, I can't complain about my spawn even though it's it's in the Badlands, but I spawned next to a mine shaft, so I didn't have to spend hours looking for one. So that was so that was pretty good. So I went into there and I, I got the wood. Okay, I at, I at least got some wood. It's not like I'm I have voice cracks today. Wow. I did a bit of exploring and I found two spawners and I wrote down I found three, so I don't know where I found that, but yeah. I found this cave very close to the mine shaft, so I went into it. I made myself a, a wooden pickaxe and I also mined a piece of coal so I can make a torch. And then I started looking a bit more into the cave and it was a dead end, uh, but at least it had resources. So I decided to make it my base. I mined the iron that was in there and I also got the coal. And I made myself a, a iron sword and an iron pickaxe and I went mining and I came across this cave where two zombies were looking for me. Yeah. Made myself an iron chest piece from the iron that I found. And I mined some more. And I came across this another cave, okay. I yeah. I don't I don't really like caves, but you know it had a lot of gold and I would actually need gold to trade with these piglins since that's my only way of getting arrows and leather. And other things you can think of. And I also smelled at my my ores and on day one I made another Iron piece of armor and got more wood. I made myself a shield and I also made uh, myself a full set of iron armor now. And uh, yes, more mining. Did a little bit of exploring in the cave. But, uh, it was a ravine actually and it's pretty, pretty cool. I mined uh, the resources that I found. And I also found my first diamonds. The only disappointing thing about it was that it was a two vein. I killed this zombie and it actually dropped a potato, so I was pretty lucky, but I never noticed it until now. Yeah. So on day two, I got some uh, dirt. Yes, uh, I was gonna make a farm. Yeah, I I'm, 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 I'm a vegan now, okay? Yeah, I'm vegan now. I'm eating potatoes. I uh, even made a better way up to the to the surface because like <laughs> it was very needed, okay. And I spent the rest of the day just mining, and I found diamonds. On day three to four, more mining, more diamonds. Yeah, I thought I almost died here. Yeah, yeah, I was on the point of just logging off and never coming back. Yeah, I was pretty scared. So I made a diamond pickaxe and I started making... Well, making. I started mining <laughs> obsidian. I made myself the uh, the nether portal. It, it, you know, I was pretty fast. I was actually pretty fast with doing that. And I farmed a little bit and I also made a, a bed. That was pretty nice, okay? Went into the mine shaft for more wood and I even made a clock for no reason. On day six, into the nether and you know, yeah, I'm not even kidding. I spawn again in the soul sand valley biome. It's like I always have to unlock in my beating Minecraft video and my other 100 days. It's just always that luck. <laughs> so instead of exploring, I just decided to just mine sugar cane. And I also made a small sugar cane farm and then destroyed a spawner because I, I was really i was proud of that okay and i explored a bit of the mine shaft and i found two chests so that's pretty nice on day seven i went back into the mine shaft and broke the other spawner and i uh, went to the chest that i found yeah it's not necessarily the best loot but it's something okay so i made some space so i can actually uh 
yes, make a melon and pumpkin farm. And I would never eat melons and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it looks fancy, okay? On day 8, yes, I went into the nether to... <laughs> trade. I spent hours on trading in this whole 100 days thing. I always have to show off about me killing a no ewing <laughs> guest. So after I was done with trading, I decided to attack the, the piglin and he actually did some damage and I shouldn't have done that. I made a diamond sword on day 9 and I fought some more ghasts. I wasn't scared of these things anymore. They were actually kind of cute. A little bit of exploring. I found a nether fortress. I was pretty fast with that. It was actually like, I don't know, 400 blocks away from my portal. I don't know. It wasn't really that far. But I uh, the blaze spawner was kind of shit, so I didn't kill any of them. So on day 10, I just spent the rest of the day just basically farming. On day 11, <laughs> more mining. I was mainly just mining for gold, because I would need that for the trading again. On day 12, um, back into the nether. I was hoping for ancient debris, but like, nah. <laughs> nah, I didn't get anything, okay? So on, on day 12, I, I made this little room where I would make a, uh, like an enchanting room. So I got some more obsidian, I made the enchanting table and placed it in the middle of the room. Yeah, I tried to get in like an, a silk touch a pickaxe, but like, yeah. Yeah, we don't need that anymore, okay? I started working on this place for storage. Yeah, my, my chests were getting pretty messed up, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna make a storage now. And I went back into the nether on day 13, and I trapped the enderman. I was pretty proud of that. Yeah, I, it was also a free pearl, so I'm not complaining. And yes, more trading. Again, I spent hours of trading. <laughs> On day 14, I went back into the mine shaft and got more wood. I also made myself a new shield and went back into the nether. Uh, you know, these, bun these, these blazes actually punch really hard. The only thing that I really hate about the spawner is, you know, the, the lava. But uh, hey, by the way, you can be proud of me. I actually drank the fire resistance potion because I nearly died the, the last time. I was actually somewhat confident with getting these blazes, but they, they barely even drop blaze rods, so it's kind of disappointing. And that, that lava actually really pissed me off. It was so annoying. Anyways, yeah, I killed my last uh, blazes and I got four blaze rods, went home, and on day 15, more exploring. Yep, yeah, and I found another mine shaft with uh, another chest in there, so I was like, yep. Yeah. But the only good thing about it was a, a golden apple, so it was pretty cool. I spent the rest of the day more working on uh, storage. And on day 17 to 16 to 17, I'm sorry. I made a beetroot farm. I would never eat anything with beetroots, but you know what? It looks good. Started sorting out things so my chest would be less messy, and then I decided to just go strip mining, and I found diamonds. Yeah, I was also out for gold, so obviously, you know, every gold that I found most likely took with me. Because again, <laughs> you gotta keep up those hours of trading. <laughs> I somewhat finished the storage, uh, the only thing I was missing was a... Yeah, I guess a roof, or like a, a good looking light place, I don't know. Day 18 to 19, yeah, so I went back into the nether and you know what, I was gonna block off that lava. And this way it made it really easy for me to actually kill these blazes, so that's what I did. The only thing I really hate about these blazes is that they actually punch really hard and it hurts, man, okay. I, I, I did this with like full iron, so yeah, I can't really complain. Yeah, 
Yeah, I killed my last blaze and I had now six blaze rods and I had like four at home as well, so I had enough. So yes, I went home. Place this lights in my storage room and I realized it was actually uneven and I hated it, so yeah. <laughs> Gotta get more of those lights, so I went back into the netting. So you get more of those lights. You know, those lights are actually way better than glowstone. I started making a nice floor for the storage as well, and then, yes, mine some more gold. On day 21, I basically farmed a lot. I was actually really lucky with these potatoes, honestly. I went back into the nether. Yes, more trading. Also, I really like the Souls and Valley biome because I could easily get gas kills. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not mad about it this time. Day 22, it took more gold. <laughs> more, more trading. Yes. Like I said, I spent hours doing this. Day 23, I basically just decided to go a bit of, uh, do a bit of exploring, you know. Got some more wood. You know, I heard a, a strange noise and I saw this group of illagers and I was like, yeah, I want that banner. I'm like, I don't care about anything else. I just want that banner. I didn't even care about the bad omen effect because, like, I wouldn't be able to cure a villager at the moment anyway, so. Nothing to worry about. I made the sugarcane farm bigger. And I also made a uh, little bit of changes into my base or house whatever you want to call it i think it's it's if base fits better because it's not really a house i farmed some more and i started working some more in my house as well it's like I keep switching between farming and working on my my base day 25 to 26 yes more more farming And I also went back into the nether. I keep switching between the overworld and the nether, so don't mind if I do. Uh, this time I actually decided to just go explore instead of trade. Yeah, I found this warped forest. And I, I would need that wood for builds later, so like I was like, yeah, I'm happy with this. I chopped this enderman and I had one of these grass thing blocks in their hands. I was like, I need that. <laughs> so I trapped him and... Killed him. Another enderman came into there as well, so I was like, yeah, it's, it's okay. Two free pearls and one of these blocks where I can grow nether trees or funguses on. <laughs> I also uh, mined some more gold. I also had a very unfriendly guest. He, uh, he broke my door, so I had to fix that as well. Day 27. Yep, more sugarcane farming to, to make bookshelves. And I also grew my first fungus tree. I don't know what you want to call it, honestly. Yeah, I also like looked on Google if these things actually decay, but they don't. So that kind of sucks as well. Day 28, yes, back into the nether. You can probably already guess it. More trading. Yeah, it, at some point it's just... <laughs> you, you just start regretting life. Anyways, day 29 till 34. I, I did a lot of stuff, but I was mainly just spending a lot of time cutting down trees. Or fun I'm just gonna call it a tree, okay? And I also spent a lot of time just mining for gold. And also diamonds. I was actually pretty lucky with finding the amount of diamonds uh, here. Okay, I had actually a good amount of them. I also got, um, finally Fortune 3 on my pickaxe, so you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's actually a pretty good enchant with, like, efficiency 4 and unbreaking. So I did some more mining and I found diamonds. I was like, I'm gonna test out those Fortune uh, 3. And it, at first it looked very unlucky, but then I found more behind there, so I was like, yeah, you know, I, I think it's okay. It was just five. It was okay. 
found more diamonds and I had like 10 of it now and I also got the rest of the resources from this massive cave. Day 35, yes. Cutting down a tree basically all day. Yeah, I, f I found these, this group of illagers once again. You know, I want that banner. So, <laughs> I sniped them. I stole the banner. I was really proud of it. And on day, uh, well, in the night, I spent more time on trading. And this little, this little child stole my letter. The stuff that I needed, so. You can probably already guess what I did. Yes. I stabbed the kid. And on day 36, more mining. And <laughs> more diamonds. And I was like a 6 vein and I got like 17 from that. So that was pretty cool. Day 37, I was basically just making an XP farm. But it, but it, it didn't work, but you know what? Yeah, I can just say it probably I tried to make an XP farm, okay? Spent also a lot of time just cutting down trees so I can make these trapdoors. I, I finally finished it when uh, after I placed the water in there and I also made a stairway up to my my base. And I also started filling up a cave with just cobblestone so mobs wouldn't spawn there so I had more chance. But like, yeah. I made some diamond uh, armor and I enchanted it. I don't know why but I enchanted my first two pieces with just something useless. But yeah, I got a feather falling three enchants. That's pretty good. Also, like I said, the XP farm uh, was bad. It, it didn't work. I wanted to get to these diamonds until this zombie jumped down and his sword hurts. I panicked. I don't, didn't even notice that he just burned in the lava, but you know, that's okay. So I started making this little hut so I wouldn't die. Uh, that, that's that's later how scared I was. <laughs> and it, you know, all that for just two diamonds. I got the feather, fa <laughs> feather falling three on my boots and I started working on this little room where I would actually trap a villager. And I stand, stand, wow. I stayed up all night <laughs> to find a zombie villager and I was like, do they even spawn here? Because I, I barely see anything. Uh, but, but okay, they do. I, I googled it, okay, they do. It's a small person just of it spawning the field. It does. Anyways, I found like uh, three chests and a, and a new mine shaft. It, it was pretty good. Uh, well, it was pretty good that I found them. It's not like the most best loot ever, but you know, yeah, yeah, well, it was something. I was happy with the name tags. I checked up on the XP farm, and this is the most mobs I've ever seen in this farm. But like I said, it just didn't work the way I was hoping it. So I I broke it. And uh, yes, I spent the rest of the few days just building a new one above ground. I uh, killed this wandering villager that came by, and um, no, I didn't look at his traits, I, I just cared more about getting the llamas. You know what? It ain't no 100 days if I don't got my llamas, okay? I'm just saying, I need them. I finished the, uh, the XP farm, and I also moved my llamas into a special made room for them. I checked up on the new XP farm and uh, it just doesn't work, okay? So I stayed up all night once again, hoping for a zombie villager. You know what? I, I feel lucky. It won't spawn, okay? It was kind of a pain to get him into our house. Our house? Wow, I'm, I'm alone, man. <laughs> it was kind of tough for me to just get him in my house, uh, but eventually I, I got him. You know what? I named him after myself. Yes. I made a brewing stand. And on day 48... 
what even makes sense? I guess, yeah. Look, this magma cube was having fun. Anyways, I went into the nether for brown mushrooms and I eventually found them. And by the way, needed it for like a weakness potion, if anyone is wondering. I also mined some quartz for the XP that I would get from it. And I got protection for my helm. And then, yeah, stayed up all night once again. And the hunting spawns. So day 50, I killed another wandering villager and stole his llamas once again to grow the spitter family once again. You want to arise, man. <laughs> it's some more exploring into a, like, yeah, more mineshaft exploring, okay? And stayed up then all night again and I got attacked by these phantoms or however you want to call them. But the, the sound they make is horrible, honestly. Day 51 to 54, I I was basically looking for ancient debris, um, yeah, no luck, <laughs> I found nothing. I was, uh, I actually finally decided to cure the, the villager, anyway, yeah, he's good now. More trading, guys, yes, more trading. I made another diamond sword for no reason and tried to get that a good enchant and I got looting three on it. Beside that, nothing. So, I actually found a pretty good bow enchant, so more getting XP to finally get that power four in my bow. And I made another diamond sword. I was like, I had three swords now, but yeah, you know, it's, it's good. And we're back into the nether for, yes, experience. And I enchanted my diamond sword and I, yeah, again, I had three swords. The next day I just spent trading, if I can. Then decided to just stay up all night once again, hoping for a villager. And I actually heard one in the mineshaft, so I was like, I gotta find him. Uh, he was in this like closed off place in the mine shaft, but you know, at least I got him. So I, I brought him to my home. And I guess this time it was easier, because I already prepared everything. And yes, I named him kinda after myself again. <laughs> day 56 uh, more exp yeah more exploring i was basically looking for like a mine shaft with chests and i i broke another spawner and i i found this chest and I, I was just breaking i just broke it i didn't even bother to look in it but it actually had a golden apple in there so i was i, I was actually lucky with that one so i cured the other villager Then decided to make the place where they were staying a bit bigger, and I also decided to place a light there. And then, then I just made sure they would breed, so I would actually be able to get more. Yeah, this this little one escaped. Look at this, he just... Yes, he just walked through the door, so I killed him. Well, I, I tried to kill him, but he kind of escaped and... I think he's dead now, but yeah, it's fine. Besides that, I did kind of nothing this day. On day 59, I threw my first Eye of Ender and started running after it. And also, kind of the unluck of throwing these things and just breaking it, it just... It, it's a real pain, okay? Uh, I started just digging down. I was like, yeah, this is this is a fine place. I will just go down here. And I, I found the stronghold. Yes. Uh, for some weird reason, I was just very nervous to go in there. I was like, what if I die on day 60? Or like, yeah, what if, what if I die? Do I have to do it all over again? <laughs> I found the, the portal actually pretty fast, so I ran in, in there and just broke the portal and made the last eye of Enders that I would need to open the portal. And 
I actually had to get the courage again to jump in the portal, but if eventually I, I got in, okay? I started going up. You know, you know, I, uh, yeah. Okay, it's, it's again these high pillars, but at least it's not that high, so I can't really complain like the last time. I also collected some of that uh, stinky dragon breath, and I think if I didn't have feather falling hair, I would have died. Yeah, I think I would. Anyways, the fight was pretty good. I did run out of arrows at some point, but um, definitely not complaining about the fight. I wanted the dragon egg, so I, I got it, and you know what? Yeah, I decided to try to get through one of these portals. Uh, well, at least it was only one, so yeah. But uh, eventually I figured out how to get through it, and... I, I Yeah, okay, I was not happy with it. I was like, what if I died there? <laughs> I had a rough time actually getting back uh, to home. Um, But yeah, eventually I got it. I'm not even kidding, in my notes there is like, I don't want our lights right anymore, I'm traumatized, so and that explains a lot. Anyways, I spent these last day, last days, well, I spent day 60 till 64, basically on making a tower. On day 65, I basically just spent uh, time in the nether getting more blackstone and blowing up TNT to find some ancient debris and you know what? I actually got some. And then randomly started smashing blocks around me in hope for more and you know, it, it kind of worked. Once I got home, I had 9 pieces of ancient debris and I smelted it. On day 66 to 71, I basically spent on making a second tower. On day 72 I ran out of blackstone again so I went back into the nether to get some more. I also repaired my diamond pickaxe and then upgraded it to netherites. I also upgraded my sword. And then spent day 73 till 74 uh, on making space outside. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I uh, tried to get some good book enchants and, uh, you know, I got a somewhat good things. Looting 3 and a flame book, yeah. So I, yeah, I went farming and trading for emeralds and uh, that basically all the time. I put flame on my bow and I also bought the looting 3 book. And yes, I put it on my sword, obviously. On day 78, I um, went looking for more ancient debris so I could finally fully upgrade my armor to full netherite. I spent more time mine 
mining farming on day 79. But I also managed to get an infinity book trade, so I also got that. Because I didn't really have much arrows, so I thought it was needed. So I put it on my bow. And tried to get some more gold. <laughs> On day 80, it's where they get a mending book trade, and yeah, I actually finally got it. It's a little bit expensive, but at least I got it. So I went farming, and I also upgraded my chest plates to netherite. On day 81 to 83, I put mending on my pickaxe, and mined quartz for the XP, so my pickaxe would mend. <laughs> I also got some more blackstone, and some more ancient debris. And with all of this, I could actually fully upgrade my whole armor. Day 84 to 80, 89, what? <laughs> to 99, I spent basically on building the tower, the walls, and another big tower. And sadly, I couldn't finish the whole castle idea I had in my mind, but maybe that's an idea for the 200 days. Day 100, I had this uh, one last minute idea to make a display for my dragon egg. Y you know, it, it didn't work out and it didn't look like the, the thing I had in my mind, but you know what? It's okay, it's not like I had enough time to fix something good. I just hated how lava doesn't really work the same way as water, so that's why it kind of looks bad. But you know what? I placed the dragon egg and I was like, you know what? Cheers to another great 100 days. <laughs>